Well, hello and a warm welcome back to Stationers here on Venus. I'm Lion. In this episode, we're going to do a little bit more work on the generator backup system. Unfortunately, it didn't quite go as planned. And we're also going to do some setting up of the recycler ready for biomass later on. So, that's where we're at. As I've said a few times before, I will be doing jump cuts as we get into the... Well, we get past the survival stage of the game and get into what I call the real game, where you have freedom to start making whatever comes into your mind. Anyway, we are getting closer to that stage, episode by episode, so I hope you enjoy this one. You know what? That'll do for now. Let's not get greedy. There's a storm on the way. I nearly ended up with a reagent mix then, that wouldn't have been very good. Another one, please. And thank you. Okay, um, you want gold. Probably going to want more gold. Uh, we have much steel left. Not heaps. We need at least four. Well, four would do for now anyway. bunch of them so kind of just want to make sure that this generator doesn't overpower the output pipe mm. I'm sure there's one configuration that's the one This will give us a little bit of time. Well, this will give us an idea of how much time we've got. Sixteen seconds. Right. Well. Uh, yeah. Let's um. Let's just. Pop those on here quickly and get indoors quickly. <laughs> Couldn't have cut it any finer if you tried. Okay, um, let's go and get some water and food, shall we? Ooh, there's an empty hydroponics tray. How dare they be? Um, idle, idle. We're up to 90 kPa again, which is awesome. Uh, we need a few more trays, don't we? That's right. Okay, what else are we going to need? We're going to need a few heat exchangers, a 
the pipe analyzers it's time to move on to the next part of the build and that is the heat um basically getting things ready for water okay good we've got pipes um we've got one pipe analyzer let's start putting a few things away shall we we're not going to need glass right now we're not going to need walls right now I don't think we'll need plastic sheets right now. Sensors, uh, we will need them, but not right now. Solar panels, yes. Gold will drop on the floor. Shoots, we always, well, we don't need to carry them, but. Okay, when I was in there, I completely forgot about that. It's good I got another one, isn't it? Um. We will probably need vents at some stage. That can go in here, that can go in here. What am I missing? I don't know, I'm missing cables. Oh yes, going to need some normal bog standard cables. Um, I'm going to need a tablet. What do they call them? I could just look at the one in my hand, couldn't I? Handheld tablet, yeah. All right, well, there's one. Copper, 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 copper. We've got copper. We're going to need a couple of them. Now, you guys live in here. We're going to need batteries. Want to go for some large batteries, steel. Okay. Down to last steel again. We need to go mining again. Um, I'm going to get two out of that. That's fine. That'll do me. We'll replace some of the small batteries with big batteries and we'll all be happy. There's dust from the storm getting in. Okay, you're full. You're not. You need to go on charge. I'll swap you out for that one. Not one I really use the most, but you know... Right, okay, um, so we put one of them in you. Ah, look, we'll make one more small one if we've got the goods for it. We do indeed. Oh, that's good news. That's still saying 20%. I don't know, did it get stuck? The code gets stuck. I hope not. Uh, we've got a network configuration somewhere, but I think it's in the vending machine. Oh, look, I've got another IC chip I forgot about. That's always good to have. Um, pop you in there. Some extra pipes here, we'll just shove them up there. Filter, I need filters. Carbon filters. Looks like storm has passed. That's good.
Okay, so we know we're running out of steel and we're going to need more pipes. We're going to need more silicon. Do, 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 do. What do I do, do, do? Mining, I could. I'm going to top up my gas first. I forgot the extra hydroponics phrase again. Well done, well done. Up to 92 kPa, that's really good. Mm. Okay, batteries are dead. Doesn't look like that worked. Oh boy, here we go. Um, Second, hold the phone. You know what I forgot to do? The what good's a backup generator if it doesn't actually? Power anything. Is going oh oh mm, should shouldn't be fine it should be fine you see the gas sensor is not even the gas event side of it's not working now either um but it has coal in it I'm sure it has coal in it yeah I mean, there should be enough power for it to... I can hear that humming. Why is it not working? Uh. <laughs> Oh, we're at unknown 
thirty eight. Okay. Damn it. Okay. 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 Right, why is that unknown? Got a fuel stacker. Um, LED display, Jenny active vent. Yeah, Jenny gas sent, it's right there. It's connected. Right. But what about the, the generator coming on? Okay, that um, doesn't make any sense. And, and that is, it makes even less sense. Right, okay, damn it. Um, Okay, I have done a little bit of testing on the side, and I think I've got a bit of code that will work now, hopefully. So, I want to set up a couple of things before I go on with that. Mainly, oh, 4%, that's not good. Um, I don't know if that's accurate or not, I don't think it is. Okay, so let me grab a drill and I'm going to put that somewhere a bit more, um, yeah, that's a bit better. Now, I've decided that's the wrong machine. <laughs> um, I've decided that I am going to put in a little warning system in case our uh. oh where'd you go okay in there Just in case the system doesn't, um, okay, the, the, we're going to run out of coal in the system at some point. And that's fine. It's all good and well. It happens. So I've decided that what I'm going to do is have an alert system inside the bunker. So when it does happen, We've got some kind of forewarning that there's not any coal in the system and we can top it up, right? Seems fairly reasonable to me. Now we want copper in there, we want to drop that, we want to drop that, and we want to say yes to you. So... I had to use a combination of code from different people to get this working. 
and a bit of feng shuiing on my own i kind of want you to be red so we'll print out a red please Turn on the extractor. Spray that red. Okay. That's that done. Come on, give me the thing. Thank you. So now all I should have to do, I'll show you the code here. Okay, that's all the old stuff uh, from Mick. So if I load this, this is using Tom's. Um, where is it? Do, do, do. Automated. I tried a few of them. Now I can't get the save batch stuff to work with the generator. I'm also going to need a batch reader. Um, where's it? Here we go. Generator control by Tom is the one I used, but I added a few things to it, such as the stacker, the gas vent, the gas generator, a light, and also we've got the display there as well. Now we can set the levels where they come on and off. That's grand. And then we've got the stacker, basically. If the generator doesn't have anything in its out in its input slot then the stacker will activate and spit out its contents um then we've got the obviously the, the gas situation and uh, that turns the gas vent on if there's any pressure in the room and then the stacker if that's not occupied then it sends a, a signal to the light so that means we just get a flashing error, a flashing light to tell us that we need more coal in the stacker or whatever is in the stack that needs to go in the stacker. Uh, that's not a, that's just basically the way that runs. Um, and then it goes on to do the stuff that Tom put in the generator. Um, I don't know the ins and outs of how that works. Hydration critical. We're going to need a uh, logic IO. One of them. Might as well go and sort the problem with the water out. Uh, while we're here, while we're here, and okay, that's cooling the place down fine. Um, while we're here, it's all good. Now we should have, yep, we have, so I'm going to pick that up, come on, thank you. Pick you up. And I think we're good to go. Might as well grab a battery while we're here. Right, okay, um, where are we going to stick this now? That'll do. Batch reader is the one we want. Now, where did I put my pliers? There they are.
Now we need to set the batch reader to station battery ratio average. Okay, that's good. Now, can I get in here? Uh, probably not. So let's crowbar. Go roof. Okay, we're in a position where we can see this now. So let's just put that down. Export that code. Yeah, it doesn't like that, obviously. Um, away. Now, um, do, 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 do. So, the event. Gas sensor. We got a little flashing light. Okay, give me a second. LED space. Uh, generator. Generator. Batteries. Reader. And lastly, the stacker. Now, uh, in order to see this working, let us find some coal. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. That's the one I now want to split half. Okay, so if we throw turn this on anyway, let's see if we get any errors. Okay, yeah, I expected that to happen. Um Okay, one second. Turn that off. Everything le leapt into life anyway, that's good. That's the one I'm worried about. Um, yeah, this could go badly if I don't be careful about it. So let's stick in a very quick passive vent. Stand back. Oh, wow, that was um, interesting, wasn't it? Don't know what burned, but it looks like we're okay. Um, up, 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 up. I am not wasting time about the air tank. Let's go sort that out. I should have done that while I was in there the last time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. Okay, uh, air tank. K6. KPA, that's, um, that's a lot. Right, let me put there. Well, is that okay? We're up to 93 pascals. That's kilopascals. That's great. Um, okay, that'll do for now. Mm, 
while we're there, might as well just vent the rest of this stuff. And this stuff. Okay, so we got that vent in place, that's good. So now, in theory, what happens is we close this up, set it on, close it up, battery back rear. Okay, that's on. You're on. Uh, okay, that started that. Give me another wall. Right, so hopefully that will solve that problem. And then what we can do is throw in a spec into there. Hopefully that solves that problem. Okay, I think we're sorted. Let me take that off. Take that off. Pop that on. Read the contents. Uh, with the right tab that. Yep, that's empty. Good. So we will carry the gas from there somewhere else. That'll do for now. Now, hopefully, when that gets to below 10, Uh, we'll come back on. As you can see, that's gone off. Right, then the generator's kicked in. Now it should stop again. It has. Good. And we still have some coal in the stacker. Now basically what happens is the stacker will keep accepting coal. As soon as the jenny runs out it'll pop some out and this is good because it means when we have fire we have charcoal later we will never run out of backup power and if the if we do then it'll start flashing. Awesome that's the next part done. That's backup generator sorted. We'll never run out of power again as long as we keep some all in the stacker. Now, to feed the stacker, we have a chute system. Well, we will have one connected up very quickly. Um, I just want to... Bypass shoot system. That's a drill. Okay, and then we go back onto shoots. Um, I forgot something. Doesn't matter. glass indoors. Okay, I need glass, I need heavy cable. can work that for a minute. We're also going to need a centrifuge. 
the recycler. You know, I think I'll take the transformer. Glass. Uh, how much do we have? Four. Well, we're going to need a few more than that. And we're going to need gold. We've got gold. Um, okay. We're going to need more shoots. Let's get making some shoots, shall we? Iron. More than that, please. Hmm. What that'll do is for now, how much more is it going to make? A lot. Um, whatever, whatever. Let's just get this solar going a bit better. Now we can put in the cabling. Okay, now we have doubled our power generation of the daytime, and these will track the slow wandering movement of the sun. Awesome. Now our batteries will be nice and full. Um, next. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah, uh, you are going to be fed by the recycler. Oh, where do I want to put this? Do I want to put it in the greenhouse or do I want to put it out here is the question. In the greenhouse will generate some heat. Out here won't, but it's out here in terms of having to be out here to turn it on and off. Whereas at least in the greenhouse I can turn it on when I want it. I could put some automation on it, I guess. Simple logic kits. Ah, we've got an access route down here. That's awesome. Uh, turn them off, the machines. Sorry. Got to remember to turn off them damn machines that I turned it on until I get automation on them as well. Okay, turn that off. Do -do 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 -do. Stop. How many did we get? 33. That's a fairly reasonable number. Um, you did everything. That's fine. We're going to need shoots anyway. Uh, let's have a quick look and quick drink, I guess. Ah, oh, this drink stuff is constant. Um, yeah, we don't have the space. Simply don't have the space. Any more spuds? No, I should have bought in more Phonix units. Moderately well, eh? Hey? Why are they all moderately thriving? Moderately. Moderately thriving. I do not know. Temperature's good. Pressure's good. Hmm. Anyway, I'm sure we can bring Shui something into about here. I'll do. Brink. Right, I'll do. Mm, 
there's our shoot. So question is, can I get it up through there without taking it off? Answer is no. Problem is not. the recycler you can go somewhere around there would be good uh, actually we can move you one over and there would be good now we have um, I believe import slots Import count, yes, okay. Um, and then the next thing we need is a centrifuge. That gives it a couple of all oh, bit close on the other side to the wall that we're going to be making, so. Uh, angle grinder? Hmm. See, there's just one shoot between them, which, hmm, maybe not the greatest idea. Um, where else can I put this? I mean... Guess here. That'll give us a little string of shoots, and then it can come out here. Basically, I'm going to stick the arc furnace in here, and same kind of get up as that one. Just take out all the gas as it appears. Waste tank caution. There's a simple answer to that. I think that works. It will have to work. Um, steel sheets. Welding torch. And there you go. So that's going to make reversing that area a bit tricky, but not a problem. And this just essentially creates some storage for stuff that needs to go into here. Guessing it'll be about there. We will need more shoots to go up again and connect back up to that system, and it basically just creates a long line of just in case. And we'll stick an IC housing in there, which will control both of these, and basically it'll load the import slot. On both of them, check if there's anything in it. If there is, it'll turn the device on. And that'll just mean it's easy to fit, set and forget. Which is pretty much what this game is about. Being, being able to set up a system, 
walk away, forget about it, and feel confident that it's not going to destroy your entire base. Now, we could always set up another light outside for that, but um, we do need to set up a chute for coal. Um, the only place I can see that that would work is over here. Maybe about there, and then an input. There. So we can now throw coal up that. Well, when we connect that up, we can. We now need some basic cables. We're really going to need more resources, so I should probably go mining in the morning. Um, hmm. that'll do for a good start. Um, now we're going to need an IC chip. And I see housing. We've got an arc furnace from right there. We might want another active vent. Oh, I'm going to do this with active vents. There's other ways to do it, but this will just make it the gas coming out as cold as possible, which is kind of what we want. Okay, you can stop now and go to housing. Can stop now. Okay, we got one and then we run out of. Oh no, I turned it off. That's good. Um, dun, dun, dun. Is that frozen? It would be bad if it has. Did we run out of stuff? Well, yeah, we did. Wow. We're low on solder. Um, or are we? We are low on solder. Fine, fine. We're going to need more of them anyway, these ICs. Ah, oh, come on, really? That really looks like it's frozen. Definitely using power. Don't do this to me. Can I see in? I don't kind of want to wait till it becomes a problem. Okay, we've got CO2 and XO. 200 degrees. It's not the coldest, but it's um, better than nothing. What's the pressure? Nothing in there. Better than the outside gas anyway, so that's something. We'll have to wait and see what happens if the batteries do go down any further. Right, I'm going to wait here, as stop it here for a break and maybe go mining. But before I do that, I think I should probably actually hook this stuff up. <laughs> you know, be an idea. Um, 
it's not a case of urgent, it's just a case of done then. I might be able to use the same loop here for the... What do you call it? Okay, that does all of that, so we're going to have another one over here. starts another loop of stuff because we don't want it all on the same circuit it would just be dangerous now often in the when I'm on somewhere like Mars I would spray paint coils and worry about colors there is a mod made by Elmo hi Elmo if you're watching basically you can mass paint pipes and cables which is a great idea. So I am looking forward to giving that a go in the future. I haven't even got it installed yet. Hopefully you can install it on new say on old saves. And we want to set the power here to a maximum of that. Things drawing so it doesn't come on. Fine. Now, good. good. Okay. What do I want to do here? Okay. So instead of doing that with it, it's not going to work. I'll have to manually come out and turn it on every now and then. Instead of that, I will do this, which um, is the furnace. This is the uh, A furnace. A furnace. A furnace. A, a f, f gas sensor. A f vent. It's just all arc furnace stuff. So if the quantity in the slot, hold on, that reads when it's off. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to go and test that assumption. I'm actually going to update my arc activate with the new lines I've added in. Hello? Um, okay, good. So this basically loads a quantity, turns it on, activates it, then does the pressure, and I've just lost my game. Um, <laughs> one second. Crashed. Okay, that crash was a bit of a doozy. Um, restarted my machine. Seems to have solved the problem. Probably a hardware issue on my end. Okay, so I went and did some testing, and... I have come up with this. So this will set the recycler. It'll basically read if there's anything in either slot and it will also look at reagents and if it, any of them are present then it sets the recycler on, activates it um, and that's about it for the recycler. Then it moves on to the centrifuge, it looks for reagents, it looks for any occupied slots. If there's any of them, then it sets it on. Then it sleeps for five seconds because these things will take a bit of time. And then it um, also looks at the arc furnace as before, the quantity of the arc furnace slot. And if it's greater than zero, it turns it on, activates it. Then it looks at the pressure in the room. If it's greater than zero, it turns on the vent. And that's all of that in a nice little script. So that works for me. Well, it did work in testing, so I'm going to wire it up to this lot here and see if we can't get the same thing going on. Um, do I, I have a chip in there. Yes, okay. Let's just uh, pop you in. Export that. I think that's probably one of the longest codes I've written so far. 
all by myself. Well, mostly by myself. I had to look up some stuff. Now, in order to set the pins, I'm going to need to set up an arc furnace. So let's go and do that. And then we're going to need a gas sensor. Did I put my sensors away? I did put the sensors away. Silly, silly. Also going to need... Is that in far enough? It should be in far enough. Um... That looks like sun on the horizon. Might have to go out and explore the world for some ores. Uh, I need a gas sensor and an active vent. So there is an active vent. I'm going to put it somewhere nice and accessible for the pipes as always. That will need a passive vent just to get the bar started. And we'll need to cable that all up. So uh, we got, we've got we not got enough cables. We're going to need more cables. But we're going to need more ores as well. So I'm kind of inclined to go and do a bit of mining. And I'm going to waste no time. We've got... Oh, I'm going to waste time because I'm going to have to go and empty out stuff and... Charge stuff and drink stuff and all that stuff, you know. Um, okay, then next on the agenda is probably going to be expanding systems that we've already got. Just to get this ball a bit more rolling. Once that's in, we can actually start making volatiles, which will be good. But I would like to... Um, I would like to keep expanding on what we're already doing, you know. Okay, there's a bunch of burns. Might stick some potatoes on one side. Burns on the other side. Keep some kind of order. Use the old plants first because, of course, you do. There we go. Now I need to get some kind of a Elf system in here, but we need a bit more space first. How much water is in the barrel? Okay, not too shabby. We do want to start making some more soon. How much was left? 31%. That's not too shabby either. Um, gas. And there you go now, Ted. We're ready to roll. Right. Um, so we're looking for mainly iron, gold, copper, a bit of silicon, and... Hold on a minute. There's something not right there. Yeah, 
that had to be right on top of it. I don't know why that keeps happening. Um, I'm sure it's probably a known bug that's being worked on. It won't make a difference when I got the center glasses, but in the meantime, the workaround is to just start mining and it, it turns things turn up. So yeah, I'd like a nice haul of gold, copper, and silica, silicon and iron because they're really the mainstay for what I need at the moment. Um, I also want to get some astraloy for the Amy bot, but I'm not sure exactly what that's made of. I think it needs a bit of nickel, so a nickel would do nicely. Um, it's steel, nickel, and something else, if I remember rightly. Ooh, gold. Yes, please. I think maybe cobalt, or is that stellite? I'm not sure. But we're probably going to need some cobalt anyway to start our new furnace, which also we need to make and install, which... I'm looking forward to. I've been a bit lazy with the furnace at the moment, so I just want to get nice and plentiful a bounty so that we can just make everything we need without having to come out again. Um, I also need to get the water production up and running, so yes, lots to come. So, you probably guessed it, that's all we have time for today. Thanks very much for joining me as always. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.